Installation instructions for using Intello Plus in wood frame buildings with blow-in insulation. Thank you for using Intello Plus, the keystone to creating airtight, energy-efficient buildings free from toxins, mold, and rot. This intelligent airtight system is installed inboard of the primary insulation layer in walls and ceilings to optimize the building assembly and make a robust, vapor-variable, and airtight enclosure. Before we begin, please note stud bays should be empty and cleared of all debris prior to IntelliPlus membrane application. Blow-in insulation should be installed after IntelliPlus membrane application, and as always, follow all necessary site and construction safety procedures. Start by gathering all the equipment you need for installation. IntelliPlus airtight membrane, gloves and safety gear, tape measure, utility knife, staple gun, pneumatic staplers are recommended, but manual staple guns do the job. T50 type staples, Tuscan Vanna airtight tape, Pressfix application tool, Contiga HF adhesive in cartridge or sausage gun form, pipe, wire, and utility box sealing products from Proclima, dimensional lumber for battens, drill or driver, and screws. Check all framing for nails, splinters, and unnecessary protrusions. This prevents punctures and damage to the membrane. Ensure the site and floor is dry, clean, and free of dust, silicones, adhesive, and grease. Remove loose materials and sweep it away. Dust is not airtight, so don't tape to it. Studs should be spaced at 40 inches on center max. Mark the studs at a distance of 58 inches from the floor to indicate where to align the upper edge of the Intello membrane. Unroll enough Intello for the entire wall section, allowing sufficient material for relaxed corners at intersecting wall studs. Ensure there is a one inch overlap of the membrane covering the floor for future sealing. Remember, the writing on the Intello should face into the room. When applying staples, start along the upper edge of the Intello on the first and third studs. Next, pull Intello tight into a triangle on the center stud and staple. Continue stapling along the length of the sheet in this triangle pattern. Pull membrane taut and apply staples parallel to the stud evenly at intervals 3 inches on center or less down the stud. Apply staples parallel to the bottom plate, also at 3 inch intervals. Ensure staples are flush with the surface of the membrane and positioned parallel to the framing member. Too much force will push the staples completely through the membrane, causing an air leak. Too little force will not properly hold the membrane in place. Using the printed markings as a guide, overlap the next row of Intello over the bottom sheet and staple along the bottom edge. As we did before, pull the membrane up into a tight triangle and fasten at the upper edge. At junctions between walls and ceilings, corners and floors, make sure Intello is slightly relaxed to accommodate expansion and contraction of the structure. Use Tascon Vanna to tape the Intello overlaps. Use the dotted line to center the tape over the joint and press firmly with a press fix tool. This pressurization is important as it activates the adhesive to begin the bonding process. Make sure the adhered joint is free of permanent tension or stress. Avoid leaks through creases in the Intello by covering them with tape or cutting them out. Holes in the membrane can be air sealed with Tescon Vanna patches or Tescon Vanna 150 or 200. Repeat installation steps so that Intello completely covers the walls and ceiling and Tescon Vanna tape covers all seams. Apply Contiga HF adhesive on the floorboard forming a continuous bead approximately 1 4th inch thick. Lay the membrane in the adhesive bed, leaving an expansion joint. Do not press the adhesive completely flat. Note for all tape and adhesive bonds, the substrate onto which the adhesive is applied should be load-bearing, dry, smooth, and free of dust, silicone, and grease. When in doubt, always verify the suitability of the substrate with an adhesion test. We highly recommend the use of battens to ensure long-term air tightness of the assembly. It creates a gap between the sacrificial layer of drywall and the air barrier, creates a space to run utilities, and assists in holding up the weight of blow-in insulation. Additional insulation can be set in this cavity before sheetrock is installed. Horizontal counter battens can be spaced at a maximum of 20 inches apart before insulation is blown in. Tape joints should be supported with a batten over the tape or reinforced with perpendicular strips of tape spaced less than 12 inches apart, also known as stitch taping. Air seal pipes with Roflex gaskets and cables with Coflex air sealing sleeves. 
Use Instabox or Lescobox to create an airtight cavity for light switches and electrical outlets when there is no service cavity. Simply adhere these airtight boxes to the membrane with Tescon Vanitate. Once the inboard side of all exterior walls and ceilings are covered, you're ready to connect the Intello with other penetrations such as windows, doors, and skylights. Details on high-performance fenestration and air sealing can be found in other 475 resources. For more on Intello Plus, Tesc on Vanna, or further knowledge about high-performance building product pricing and availability, please get in touch at 475.com in the United States or 475.ca in Canada. Thanks for watching.